Hey guys, today I decided to uh, just make a spur of the moment video. Uh, I'm gonna do like just basically Bath and Body Works test information, just a wrap up, up of everything that's supposed to be coming out for the spring. So, we're gonna be talking body care, soaps, wallflowers, candles, honestly just everything. Because, um, I know when a lot of news comes out about Bath and Body Works for an upcoming season, it sometimes gets confusing with like, just, you know, you don't really have like a complete compiled list of everything that's coming out. So I'm going to be talking about it in the video. I'm going to kind of run through it pretty fast, not going to really go into a lot of detail about everything, but I'm going to give a list in the description of everything, so you'll have it right there. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start with the White Barn Core Collection 3 Wick Candles. So, I have it on my laptop right here. So, pardon me, like, looking over. Um, Bergamo and Mint, Mineral Springs, Copper Coconut, Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla, and Black Teakwood. Now, everything I read from there up is in the marble jar. Which, it's not marble like, say, this candle, where am I pointing again? Um, Spiced Vanilla Marshmallow from the fall was. It's not, like, that quality marble. It's just a sticker this time. So, moving on in regular glass colored jars and I'll put pictures up as well. They have the skinny labels. Watermelon lemonade, cactus blossom, lily of the valley, orange blossom and driftwood, mahogany peach, eucalyptus mint, pineapple mango, bergamot waters, mahogany coconut, endless weekend, spring leaves, midnight blue citrus, pure white cotton, beach blossoms, mahogany teakwood, black cherry merlot, black tea rose. Lavender, coconut, and sea salted pineapple. Now, out of all of those that I just read, every candle has pretty much past test, except for one. So, pardon this band-aid on my finger, by the way. I got a paper cut. <laughs> but, yeah, Black Tea Rose is the only one that hasn't been spotted in a non-test store. So, yeah, but Black, Black Tea Rose has been spotted in a wallflower. So, this might be our next chestnut and birch because that was spotted in wallflower but not candle over the, over the, um, winter holiday time. But also spring leaves was spotted in a wallflower too. So, something else I wanted to talk about. Vanilla bean marshmallow was spotted in a wax melt but not in a candle. So, it just hasn't been spotted in any sort of test candle collection yet, but it has been spotted in the wax melt. So... Just wanted to talk about that. And we're also getting a new White Barn Core Collection medium glass jar. So, it's the same shape. But someone spotted the mahogany coconut candle in the black marble. Which is weird because black teakwood is in the black marble jar in the three wick candle. But it's in mahogany coconut in the medium jar. But that was for ten fifty. However, they also spot a mahogany peach for twelve fifty, so it doesn't really make sense because I guess the sticker marble should be more expensive when you just think about it, but I don't know. Um, credit to candle I'm not sure how to say it. A f a f I'm not even gonna try. It's like I'll put their Instagram up right now, but um yeah, moving on. The next collection is sort of like a nineties like throwback collection to like how the how it how Bath & Works products kind of looked in the 90s. Um, tomato Vine, Georgia Peach, Honey Tangerine, Sugar Lemon Zest, which is Lemon Jello, Wild Sage and Aloe, White Gardenia, Praline Pecan, which is Praline Pecan Cobbler, um, Eucalyptus Rain, and Lavender Vanilla. Now, all of these have been spotted in regular Bath & Body Works non-test stores, so all of those passed. Um, we spotted, someone spotted, um, Wild Sage and Aloe in a Wallflower, which I'll put a picture up of right now. Um, moving on, the two collections that were sort of around 850 Candle Day. So, that is the first one, which is, um, I'll show you, um, I have a candle over here that looks, or it's in that collection. It's this collection, um, pretty, like, kind of printed background with a label with the name on it. Um, has the copper lids, rose gold. Um, so that collection is Coconut Leaves, Jasmine Waters, Mango Dragon Fruit, Beach Cabana, Salted Vanilla, White Sand Beaches, Raspberry Lime, Margarita, and Tobacco Flower. And another collection that is looking, it's looking like it's going to stay for spring, like it's going to be part of the spring. So that is the collection over here. I guess I can get one down. 
um, it looks like this. It's sort of like a spinoff of the summer 2016, um, I think it was Italian collection and the desert collection. Pretty much put those together and you get this collection with the mosaic geometric lids. Um, this is mahogany coconut, but I'll read you the list of those because it looks like they're staying for spring. So that is bergamot and suede, mahogany coconut, blue ocean waves, indigo sky, lemon verbena, black teakwood, white tea and ginger, and eucalyptus mint and rain. So that's that collection. Looks like they're they're staying in stores for spring. They weren't just a thing for candle day. So the next collection is like the the lattice collection. I'll put I'll put pictures up of all the things I'm talking about. That sweet cherry pie, watermelon lemonade, peach bellini, honeysuckle bouquet, fresh cut lilacs, peach bellini, white tea and pear, and blue sandalwood and sage. All of those passed as well. Um, yeah, they've been spotted in regular Bath Body Works stores. So, the next thing, I'm going so fast, I'm kind of running out of breath. The next thing that I want to talk about is, um, state candles. So, some people, um, specifically Selly on Instagram, um, I'm not sure how to say her last name, so I'm not even going to try, but, um, she spotted the New York candle, um, the Big Apple, which is basically a spinoff of Farm Stand Apple. Nothing special, but, yeah, on, on the label it says White Barn Scent a Candle, unlike most regular candles say. Bath & Body Works scented candle, as you cannot see there. There? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it says White Barn scented candle, obviously a White Barn exclusive. So, someone else spotted Ohio, the Buckeye State, um, delicious milk chocolate, steamed farm fresh milk, and peanut butter. Maybe it's chocolate pistachio, that's what the word on the, the street is. But yeah, it's looking like these candles are going to be like exclusive to whatever state you're in. So, they're also going to be, like, White Barn exclusive. So, if there, I'm sure there are some states that are, that don't have White Barn stores, they won't get a candle. So, like, say if a, le if a lesser popular state, like, I don't know, Montana or something, um, doesn't have a White Barn, there won't be a Montana candle. Um, but more popular states like New York, um, Chicago, I'm sure they'll get a candle. So, basically, I'm not, like, saying that this is set in stone or anything by any means, but it's looking like they're going to be exclusive to that state. So, you can't get the Ohio candle somewhere else in, like, New York. So, that's the news on that, but we've only spotted New York and Ohio, the candles. So, moving on, there's going to be a matching retro sort of 90s collection, um, matching the, like, tomato vine, um, praline pecan sort of candles. And that's going to be in lotion and hand soaps and with olive oil in the little mini decanter bottles. I'll put the pictures up right now. But the scents in that are Japanese cherry blossom, kitchen lemon, linen and lavender, vanilla flower, sunshine cherries, spring garden, and recently was spotted apple and thyme. Okay, so moving on, there's going to be the essentials body care. That's almond, vanilla, grapefruit, and pink pepper, jasmine, and green apple, lavender, and sandalwood, wild berry, and chamomile, and those are coming in fine fragrance mist, shower gel, body cream, clay body scrub, body butter, and bath fizz. So, that is those. Gosh, I am, like, killing it, going so fast, but moving on. Hen soaps with Boost, Vita Boost Vitamins. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, aloe agave, apple mandarin, lemon grapefruit, and mango melon. So, that, those are only coming in soaps, apparently. Um, so, next up is soaps that are going to match the pretty spectacular collection, you know, like the lattice ones with sweet cherry pie, lemon mint leaf, stuff like that. Um, that's beautiful blue skies, lovely linen, lemon meringue, sparkling berry sorbet, which is probably vanilla berry sorbet. I like that scent, so I'm not complaining, but Pretty Pink Peony and Perfectly Peaches and Cream. So that's all from that collection in the soaps. Um, next up is the Let's Get Away collection. So that is this. Um, this is Sweet, what's it called? Sweet Tropical Vanilla? Sorry, I like blanked on that. But yeah, um... So that is staying for spring light. It's going to probably stay until however spring at Bath & Butterworks lasts. Um, yeah, so there's matching soaps to that collection, which is warm mango sunset, juicy passion fruit punch, and fresh melon margarita. And 
pretty much lastly for like the list of things that's coming out is the I'm going to butcher this name. It's set it says it's T U T T I. Tutti I don't know how else to say it. Um Tutti Dolce. Dolce Tutti Dolce. That's what I'm saying. Collection. Um basically it's like a super old collection that everyone was like flipping about. I never heard of it. It's supposed to be like bakery type scents. Um but there's only three coming out for for its re-release. That the scents are Sweet Lemon Buttercup, Pink Peony Cream, and White Mocha Kiss. So the person that um has this information out, um, Bath Mother's Daily Finds, by the way, total credit to her for like the information for this whole video. Without her, we wouldn't have anything, honestly. But yeah, she pretty much gave most of this information. So that's coming back, um, we don't really, like, there's a picture of what forms it's coming in, but, like, there's not a list. So, I think in the picture you can see the Fine Fragrance Mist, um, you can see a lotion, I th I'm pretty sure, and a cream, maybe, maybe a scrub. I'm not sure, because I don't have a list, but in other news, there is new wallflower designs, but they're going to have, like, a flat bottom so you can sit them on a table and store them more conveniently. Um, but they are going to work with the old plugs, and the new plugs will work with the old wildflowers, so they're interchangeable there. And also, some stores are seeing 25 or 20 percent off coupons. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so apparently, coupons, bounce back coupons at checkout in stores are being tested right now. They're supposed to be taken away, but some stores are seeing them again. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all the news that I wanted to talk about. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but the floor set for spring is January 8th for the walls and 15th for the tables. Um, I'm not too sure what that means, but January 8th for the walls, I want to say, is when all stores will have, like, the new White Barn Core collection candles out. Um, some stores are star starting to see, like, the, um, like the Tomato Vine collection trickling in. Um... Obviously, the coconut leaves, like, this collection is already out as we speak, so we're going to see that. And also, the collection over here with mahogany coconut, you know, bergamot and suede, that's already out, too. So, yeah, some stores are starting to get sweet cherry pie in. And, yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to talk about for this video. I just basically wanted to compile all the spring news and put it together in one video because I thought that would be just so much easier for everyone. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got a bunch of information for the video. Yeah, bye.